Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Maria Johnson and today I'd like to talk to you about my experience tutoring online. Now, I've been a tutor for a number of years, but I've been primarily online for the past three years. In that time, I've used a lot of apps, applications, and today I want to talk about the ones that are indispensable to me. So, let's get started. to talk about the clock app. Now I'm sure everybody has a watch, but I find the clock app on iPad or iPhone is actually better. First I use the world clock for the different time zones. Now one or two hours isn't hard, but I've had students in like Hawaii and trying to navigate that time difference can be challenging. Even worse, if you travel and you're going across state lines or going to different countries, it really matters to have a place that you trust the time. That even if your phone clock isn't accurate, you know that that world clock is accurate. So you're always on time for your lessons. Additionally, I use the timer. So at the beginning of all my writing lessons, I have 15 minutes of free writing and I set it on my phone. Now I can look at the clock all I want, but I get distracted and life gets in the way. So I like to have that timer on and just have it as a very calm environment and let them do what they need to do. Lastly, occasionally I like to use the stopwatch, especially if we're playing a game, and it just helps for you to see it and you can do different rounds. So the clock is a vital app when I tutor. Everyone has their favorite type of calendars, but when it comes to my students and scheduling, I always use Google calendars because everyone can see it whether they can edit it or not, everyone can actually see it, and it doesn't get confused with my own personal calendar, my own personal calendar app. It's very simple and it helps everybody to know exactly when our lessons are, whether they're moved, when they are, how often they are. We're all on the same page. To conduct my lessons, I use Skype. There are different pl platforms out there. There's Google Hangouts, there's platforms within tutoring websites, but my most favorite is Skype because I can see everything at one time. Our consistent chat window, my shared screen, their face, everything there in one place and it's my go-to every time. Now I'm going to show you the bio board. These are all my different boards. You can create a new one but I'm going to show you one I already have for Latin. This is a quiz I traditionally give my students. It's a text box. I wrote it myself. There are different types of questions. And then over here I have the templates uh, to remind them of what I'm exactly looking for. The cupcakes are a joke about infinitives to help them remember. <laughs> so they'll complete the quiz and then we'll go over it. First we go over verbs. This is already pre-written, but it's a good example of what I would write as we go along. I take the text box. I write what I want. I can change the font and I can change the size. So now I want to connect what I just wrote to what I have already and I can do this by making like a pen mark, uh, of course changing the color, lots of color options. Uh, this mark is too small so let's try that again. Uh, I'm probably going to use my favorite which is the arrow and you can see by creating that arrow, I'm just connecting what I just wrote and said, hey, this is the first conjugation as I'm talking with the student. Next, we'll probably go over a sentence. I'll write the sentence into the text box. Whenever I write it into these text boxes, it always starts out to be too small and I have to enlarge it. So you can change the font. I like this font because it looks like handwriting and it makes it think feel like a whiteboard more. So we'll go over key components of this. Now I will pull in a reference and what I do is I have a folder that has all of the things that I use every single class and that's just right on the side of my computer. I can just drag things in and then it's not only quick but it's also uh, accurate. I don't have to reinvent the wheel every single time. It's a very very important part of what I do is just bringing in these resources and just connecting them and have that repetition of the same resource connecting the information. So if I want to write a new note I often do it in a different color just to make it stand out and I'm a huge proponent of color coding uh, both to 
make things separate and also to explain things. Now, uh, this is just more of the same. I have a template and then I've written on top of it. Then we will read something. This is from the Oxford Latin course, which is a favorite textbook of mine. I took a screenshot of the textbook. I can resize it as I desire and we can go through the text. I can mark it up with pen, highlighters, uh, arrows, anything I want. I can use all of the different colors. If I do a highlighter, I have to change the thickness though so it feels more like a highlighter. I highlight words I want to go over, sentences I want to go over. I like to use the line to show where in the text we are currently and then of course my favorite, the arrow, to point out things. So this is how I use my virtual board, by a board. Now let's talk about GoodNotes. I've recently started using this with my edition of the Apple Pencil. It gives you even more of a whiteboard feel because you can actually write on the board, but it's still virtual because you can include existing templates. I have my diagramming template for a writing class and then I can just write in it. I can change the color and I can change the thickness. It's very quick and it's very efficient, but there's also a lot of flexibility. In Latin, I have my verb template here, and then I can just write in it. Now, I will say it is faster to handwrite in GoodNotes than it is to type. I don't have to duplicate anything. I can have a lot more flexibility. I can add dashes and change the color very, very quickly. So I do like it for that reason. This is a slide from a class where I talked about moving from the singular into the plural. I've already written all of this, but it gives you a feel of how it would feel it be in the middle of a lesson. I would write it and then I can have an arrow and I can change the color in the middle to point something out. The, what you see at the bottom, I've already written that. And what I've done is I've reinserted it into a new slide. I build the information, I compound it. And you can do that easily at the bottom with the plus button add in things from your camera roll from iCloud and just continue to use your quick files and use what you've already written and it creates such so many options and so much versatility and that is good notes for you. Today I share with you my most essential apps. It's not all the apps I use but they're the ones that I can't live without. I hope you have found something useful in case you are an online tutor and you're sharing your knowledge to the world. Be sure to check in next week. I'll be talking about reading comprehension and have a wonderful day. Bye.